we need to stop buying zero waste products. And before you say I'm crazy, hear me out. This is a video that I've been thinking about for a really long time and something that has been bothering me, especially as the zero waste movement has grown over the last couple of months. And I will never ever say that isn't fantastic, but alongside that, there comes people who will capitalize on that. Companies, people, and it's just kind of annoying me. There is no need for you to go out and buy 40 jars so that your pantry looks perfect for Instagram. It is not necessary. There's nothing wrong with popping your bulk produce into an old pickle jar. Nothing wrong with that at all. And this image of perfection has been really, really annoying me lately because I see people who are really wanting to try hard and do something good for the environment and for themselves and they're being put off by these perfected images. And I'd like to think that on my channel, I don't do that. I'd like to think that I'm fairly realistic in what I'm successful with and what I'm struggling with. I'd like to think also that people wouldn't make me feel guilty about that, but I see a lot of that out there. It's kind of like with everything, whether it's fitness related or food related, you just get bombarded with these images of perfection on Instagram, of the Instagram pantry, with all the beautifully labeled jars full of pasta and of this gorgeous pantry that you think you have to have. And the reality is that that is creating images in people's minds and perceptions that are false and for the average person, really unattainable. It actually blows my mind that people are being encouraged to go out and consume more products when the purpose of the zero waste movement is to reduce our consumption and the amount of products that we own and that we are using every day. So that's the first thing that's really bothering me. And the second big contributor to this are the big corporations and businesses who are capitalizing on consumers. And again, on that weak spot in our human condition that makes us believe that we need to have certain things in order to be a certain way or to live a certain lifestyle. And I'm not talking about companies or small businesses that are producing zero waste necessities like my bamboo toothbrush or soaps and shampoo bars, those kind of items that are everyday necessities. Those are the products that you need to be buying and those are the companies that you need to be supporting. But again, it's these big corporations and also businesses that are starting up to produce products that you don't need. So let me put it this way to you. There are some people out there who obviously need to use a straw for medical reasons or whatever other reasons. Those people are probably going to continue to need plastic. Fine, understandable, there's some things you can't get away from. But if you are not somebody who uses straws on a regular basis, why then would you feel the need to go out and purchase bamboo straws or any kind of metal straw? I just wonder how the psychology of that works as far as advertising and promotion goes because until you see that being marketed at you and directed at you that's not something that you think you need and so these products that are being developed as these zero waste alternatives are just feeding into that cycle of consumerism and accumulating stuff and mass production that has got us into this mess in the first place and it just really annoys me that people are being influenced in this way that's not only continuing to damage the environment but it is continuing to damage their bank account as well because a lot of these zero waste products are super super expensive the zero waste lifestyle or being eco-friendly is not meant to be expensive and it is not meant to contribute to the amount of products and the amount of waste that we already have in the environment today as it currently stands and again, I'm not going out there and bashing anybody for trying to do a good thing for the environment and trying to choose zero waste products because at the end of the day, that is the best option. If you don't have any reusable bags at home and you want to buy a tote bag, that is fantastic. The consumer is not the problem. The problem is that the consumer is being exploited and we are being capitalized upon by these big corporations and by marketing gurus and advertisers who want to sell us stuff. I think the Comrie process that I went through to declutter my whole space basically was a fantastic segue into zero wasting and allowing me to realize what products I need in my life, what brings me joy and what really isn't a necessity and I should just leave on the shelf because it does not add anything to my existence nor to the human existence more than likely. So I don't see this changing at any time in the future. I see the zero waste movement continuing to grow and as a result, these kind of products and this kind of imagery that the consumer needs to be perfect, continuing to just take over and doing more harm than good at the end of the day. I just kind of wanted to share my thoughts on that and get some things off my chest 
and tell you that you are doing a good job that you don't need to go and spend a fortune on a bamboo lunchbox if the tubware container that you have is perfectly functional you don't need to go out and throw away everything that you own in place of a zero waste product use what you have at home make good use of it turn a product into something else it's about trying to reduce your consumption and ensuring that products don't even get to that stage where they have to be thrown away as waste it's just an observation that i have and me not wanting other people to feel bad or feel like their journey isn't good enough because it doesn't look like it does on Instagram. So I'm really glad that I got this filmed for you and it's really nice to just do these videos where I can sit and chat and just share my thoughts. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on whether you agree or disagree with what I've kind of been getting at in this video. And I hope you enjoyed it and that it has given you a little bit of food for thought. And with that said, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a big thumbs up, that really helps me out. And also please don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my zero waste related videos. I will be talking to you very, very soon. Bye.